guys, we got a professional radio controlled buggy kit. So in this video, we're going to build it and then we're going to take it racing and see how well we can do. So this is what it's hopefully going to look like when it's finished. Here's all the electrics that we're going to put into it. But I'm not going to bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm just going to put a link down below where you can get all the specifications of all this stuff and where you can buy it from. So recently, I built this on the channel and then we took it to the racing club and out of 30 drivers, we come 13th. So that wasn't really too bad. This is like an over 20 year old design. I built it because it was my childhood dream RC car. But now we've got a modern one, the latest car, all the latest electronics. Let's see if we can get better than 13th. <laughs> So these here are flush cutting cutters. If you look at the blade tips, look, they meet so that they're flat along the back. So when you cut something, you end up with it all nice and smooth and not sharp. If you want to use these ones, then they're gonna leave a sharp bit. So in the kit comes this plastic thingamajig here that goes on the bottom here that the arm pins go through. But Vinny told me to get this one here. This one's here is made out of steel. It's a bit heavier. I think it's supposed to put some weight on the front end to make it drive different. Next, servo. So this is a Razor servo. It's got amazing speed, metal cased, metal gears, super high end. If you want to know the techno babble, where to get one from, link down below. Now this has got NFC, and I think you can put your phone near it and you can program the servo. So you might have a little play with that later. You can make it behave differently to make your car drive differently. So it says in the book to use Loctite. I chose not to because these little screws, um, I don't want them to round off, especially when we're racing and you've got to struggle getting screws out. So I'm not going to bother. So I've seen a couple of people complain at me in the comments saying, why do I use cheap tools? Well, I've had expensive tools. I've been using Arrow Max. I've also tried the MIP ones. And so far, these are the nicest fitting and longest lasting tools that I've used. And they're pretty cheap, so I'm gonna put a link to that down below. And also, these power tool tips, link to those down below too. So next we've got to put in these front anti-roll bar links. The trouble is, I can't find them anywhere. So I don't know if they're missing or if I'm being blind. So we might skip that step for now and see if we can find them a bit later on. But these go on there, so let's get those on there. I thought originally they were these, but I don't think they are. I think these were servo spacers, but we don't need servo spacers. Oh, hold on, look, must be these. Oops. I put that on the wrong way round. Hold on, magic, ready? These things would have been better off to put on afterwards. So on this one, I put a tiny bit of Loctite because if that screw comes out, wheel's on the floor.
So these little white things look, there's a whole load of different ones that come with the kit. And it's got the holes all in different positions. So you can have all different suspension angles. If you're pro, that's what you gotta do. Oops, put this thing on the wrong side. Hold on, ready? Blah, 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 blah. Boom! So if you're wondering what that slime stuff was on the bottom of here, it's some of this O-ring grease here. And a lot of people tell me off for using these side cutters to hold the shaft. But the thing is, when you hold it with side cutters, you hold it right at the bottom of the shaft. If you slightly mark it there, it doesn't matter because that bit is never going to see the seal inside the shock. So the front shocks, the rear shocks are the same. They're just longer and it's got this little spacer thing here, look. <laughs> So we've got to move the shock shaft up and down because that bleeds all the air out from underneath. Then we've got to let them chill for a little bit, let all that air come to the top. Then we can put some more shock oil in there. Then we can put the lid on. A few moments later and the bubbles are gone. So next, we've got to get the motor and the speed controller in, we've got to get the radio gear in, paint the body, get some wheels and tyres, and then I think it's going to be ready to rip. Boom! Next, speed controller. Boom! Next, we've got to solder on the motor wires. So next, we've got to cut out this body shell, paint it, fit the wings. So now that we've got it all cut out roughly, we've got to go around all the edges and cut it out neatly. 
So next, we've got to degrease it, and for that, I'm going to use brake cleaner, and then we've got to put on the window masks. And then we're going to rough up the surface so the paint's got something to stick to. Next, colour-wise, I think we've got to go with a legendary red. Next, we've got to change the window masks and then back it with white. So really smaller masks, the white's going to show through and that means we're going to get a white border around the windows. So it's nearly looking good. Put a tinting spray, put the spoilers on and we should be looking good. Oh, check out this professional masking job. It's all right, we can hide it with a sticker. So next we've got to set up the radio, get some wheels and tyres on there. It really is coming over in a bit and he doesn't know it yet, but um, well, hopefully he's going to sort all that out. <laughs> Ooh, got Vinny in the house. I just roped him into, <laughs> into doing something. <laughs> Always. So we got the, that's, that's what holds the body on, isn't it? Yeah. There's no body clips. No, don't have body clips on a race car, do you? Okay. Slide it over gently. Right. Well, let's have a look at these wheels you got us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are they white wheels? They are white oh, wheels. Oh, yes. A little bit of white wheels. I was guessing that we're going to have white wheels, because otherwise I would have done the body in that black if, ah. we had, if we had black wheels. We need to bind it. Which one the excess of that? Mm, bind plug there. Bind plug. Bind plug goes in the end now. This is not good for the camera. People at home, do not do it like this. It's only temporary until we get some new batteries. Oh, look we've at got... that, coloured screen. The other one's got coloured screen. No. Has it not? No, unless, no. unless you need to update the software no. on it. Settings. Oh, well, I've got a quicker way of binding it. You ready? Yeah. There we go, all bound. Does it work? Show us. So this servo here was having issues. So we put that in there for now until we sorted out the issue with that. And that one works. And the motor works. Lovely. Cool, right, so next, we've got our glue the tyres on, we've got some new batteries coming tomorrow, and then we're going to get it all in. Then we're going to go and race it in his cub and hopefully win. Hopefully. What are yeah. my chances? Oh, I don't know, you're a pretty good driver, <laughs> isn't we? we all know that. <laughs> Bloody hell, I'm actually good. Yeah, yeah, We're here. We're here. You beat me at touring cars. Ah. <laughs> so the servo is glitching for some reason. Now, you can download a phone app, it's got NFC, and you can set it up, you can change stuff. I'll try to install it on my phone, but I've got Apple and it wants Android. So we're going to, for now, chuck in a JX Eco Boost servo. These are plenty fast enough, loads of torque. That'll be in there for now. And then we'll have a little play with this once we can get it onto an Android app. And the quickest way to change servos. Ready, ready, ready? Boom! Eco Boost in. Boom! And we tidied up all the cabling. And next, we've got to mount the tyres. What do you reckon, guys? Are we looking professional? So you probably noticed, but this is a two-wheel drive car. I'm not really very good with two-wheel drive. I really struggle. If you look at most of my cars on here, they're all four-wheel drive. We've got a two-wheel drive one there. You guys always ask me why I don't use it. It's because I find it really hard to drive. So we're going to see how we get on with this one. We're fully by kit set up. I built it exactly by the book. We're going to see how it handles, how it performs. And then we're going to see in a future video, we might play back with the settings and see if we can make it go even better. But I think we're probably gonna get four-wheel drive cars as well at some point, but we'll see how this one goes for now. Ah, we've got to do a drop test. Oh, those shocks have got some absorption. I'm not really sure about this white spoiler on the front. I think it's a little bit over the top. If you look on the box, it's got a clear one on there. Luckily, it comes with two in the box, so let's chuck a clear one on there. Yeah, I reckon that looks better. Right, just had some light posts turned up, so I just soldered the connectors on there. We set all the endpoints. Check out how fast this Eco Boost Turbo is. Ready? You always know when the servo is good is when you let go of this. It does the same on the servo. You know that's a good servo. Right, power. <laughs> there we go. Ready to race. Carpets. Right, let's go racing! Yes! Alright, here we are on location. Vinny, race director. Race director is going to explain to us 
how it works. So how's it work, boy? So you've got a list of list of people in heat down to um, ability. Yes. You kind of know what ability are. They go out there, they qualify, and then they get placed in a final. Simple. Okay, so I mean, you are in the top one. Oh no. Yeah. But you oh. want to demote yourself to the road race four. Yeah, put me in that one. Bad move. you can feel for me. Yeah, no worries, mate. Right, so first of all, we've got to qualify. We've got to do as best as we can, get the best lap time in. And then after that, we get put into a final, hopefully the A final. That's the best one. We go try and win. Probably not. We have all the gear, but do we have the idea? No idea. No. <laughs> so I've just done a quick practice. Didn't bother filming it, but my tyres are coming off. So Vinny is making them not off. Hopefully, hopefully. So what glue is that? Everyone's going to ask. It's just a cheap one from the local... Uh... Wicks. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We're going to win. <laughs> listen, listen, 2S, baby. Oh. <laughs> oh. First place. Kev getting all serious, winning the race. So we got 19 laps. And is that good, Vinny? Yeah, it's not bad. Well, we'll see what happens in the top one. Okay. Right, so that's Vinny's go. Right, so here's Vinny. Look at that. Here's all the other competition. Vinny's in second. No, he's not. Vinny's last. <laughs> Look at that concentration. <laughs> so Vinny come in fifth. Oh, how many laps did I get? Was it 19? 19, yeah, but that was awful. Oh, look, I've got 19 as well. Yeah. I'm only one lap behind the top one. We might get in the A final. But anyway, we're doing a bit of maintenance. My one is going a little bit wide. We need more steering on the front. So Vinny has kindly lent me a set of these knobblies. We're going to chuck them on there, hopefully get more steering. And that should hopefully mean more laps. Vinny's the opposite. His car's too slidey. So what are, you doing? what are you changing on yours? Putting a bit more spike on the back. 30 seconds. Five, 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 one, two. There you go, got them on. Vinny reckon it's going to be sliding around in circles. So um, we'll find out in a minute. Too much front end. Oh no, it's good. Is it? Oh sh yeah, I wanted it back as well. <laughs> Position number four, one less lap. These tyres were less grippy, so we're going to put these ones back on and hope for the best. One more heat and then final. So off, off with these supposedly more grippy tyres that are not actually more grippy, and back on with our originals. We have the book, and hopefully we can figure out in here what we can do to give it more steering. It just wants to run wide all the time, so. Let's have a look what it says. Ah, tips for beginners. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Right, all right. Oh, look, we come first in that one. 21 laps. The new tyres actually work pretty good. Well, the original tyres, actually. Vinny is crashing already. So Vinny's put the spikely knobblies on there. Let's see how he gets on with it. Go on, Vinny. Show him how it's done. Billy? Yeah. Who's at the top? You. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We ain't, we're not qualified first in the A, are we? It can't be. Not with this old jalopy, anyway. <laughs> we're going to come last now. Oh, yeah. Where'd you qualify? At one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stuart's got him. What the hell? Hero to zero. There he is. Pushing his way through the pack. He's running. Oh, he was third. Now he's fifth. Now he's fourth. Oh, fuck it. Okay. Perfect.
Which come here for? No. I was there all night. I know. I, was there. I, I did the and same I didn't thing. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Honestly, the ramp felt like completely different angle. Really slow. Last. Oh, dear. Oh.